After having an Xbox Series S for just over a year and a half, what is the top reason somebody should get one? Let's take a look. Welcome to Busy Dad Gaming, the place for busy dads looking for all things Xbox. I've had an Xbox Series S for just over a year and a half and I keep it in a bedroom as a secondary console. Now, I don't always want to be at my desk or in my office playing video games, so I have the Series S in a different part of the house, but after having it for a while, here is the top reason I think somebody should actually get a Series S. The top reason somebody should actually get an Xbox Series S is because of the value it provides. Now, in my personal opinion, the Series S is the best value in gaming today for 300 bucks it is hard to beat that price point. Now couple that with Game Pass, even at a yearly, you're looking at $480 up front, which gets you over hundreds of games right out of the box. Now, not just the price point that you're looking at here, you're also looking at the performance because if you're looking at a PC relative to the Series S, you'd be looking between six and $800 to get comparable performance out of it. And with the Series S, you really are aiming for that 1080p 60 sweet spot. The overall value of the Series S, when you look at the price, when you look at the performance, and then you look at something comparable, it is a really hard value to beat today in game. And a bonus reason somebody would wanna pick up the Series S is because of the size. It is a a very sleek design. It's a very minimal footprint. And I've heard a lot of people say that they take a Steam Deck and the Series S out while they're traveling. So it's something that can kind of do dual purpose there. It does potentially get hot from what I've heard people say, but me personally, I have it in a well-ventilated area. So it's not something that I've personally noticed it get hot, but I have heard other people say that it does have that potential. I do have two reasons somebody should stay away from a Series S. So the first one is going to be they want the latest and greatest. And when it comes to a Series S, you are not going to get the latest and greatest out of performance. You will get the latest and greatest from games perspective, but not the absolute best performance out of them. Now, granted, this won't affect as many people, but it, if it is something that you want the latest and greatest, the Series X is gonna be your best bet. And the second reason somebody shouldn't pick up a Series S is because they own a lot of physical media or they still plan to buy a lot of physical media. Now, this kind of goes as a no brainer, but the Series S is a all digital console, so it's not going to be playing physical media. So if that is something that is a big deal for you, Obviously, the Series S isn't going to do it for you. You're going to need to get the Series X. Now, Sam, you might be saying, why isn't storage on this particular list? It is something that is deterring me from getting a Series S. And pray tell, the reason is because storage is something that you can actually solve for and isn't necessarily limited to that particular console. Storage is something that you can do something about. You can go buy an external hard drive or an SSD or even the expansion card. It is something that you can solve for. Now, of course, this will impact the amount of value that you're deriving out of the Series S. Now, for example, well, if you go buy a Series S for 300 bucks and then you get a one terabyte expansion card on top of that, you're just paying more than a Series X. So the value that you're getting out of this console will depend on whether or not you're expanding that storage. Room. Now, those are the top reasons to look at a Series S and not to look at a Series S. Now, if you want a more in-depth look at a Series S, make sure to check out my review on the Series S and I'll see you over there.